In this video, we are going to discuss Section D of the Sample Question Paper of Class 10 for the year 2024-25 released by CBSE Board Mathematics Standard. Section D consists of four questions of five marks each. Question number 32 to 35 are long answer type questions carrying five marks each that will be 20 marks in all if solved correctly. Hello friends, you are watching YouTube channel Number Collage. This channel features videos on mathematical concepts. Effort has been made to explore the concepts through basic mathematical ideas. Hope you will like my effort. You can even check playlist of this channel. Perhaps you might find videos that you are looking for. We write the first linear equation as y equals 3 minus x upon 2 and prepare a table x y x comma y we will choose value of x such that we get value of y as an integer so if we choose x equals 3 3 minus 3 will be 0 0 upon 2 will be 0 so the first point is 3 comma 0 secondly we choose x equals 7 so 3 minus 7 is minus 4 minus 4 upon 2 is minus 2 so the second point is 7 comma minus 2 Next, we will choose x to be minus 3 so that numerator will be 3 plus 3, 6 and 6 upon 2 will be 3. So the third point is minus 3 comma 3. Three points are sufficient to draw the graph. Next, we will prepare a table for the second linear equation to x minus 3 y plus 8 equals 0. So y will be 2x plus 8 upon 3 x y x comma y here also we have to choose x such that numerator is divisible by 3 if x is 2 this will be 4 plus 8 12 12 upon 3 4 so the first point is 2 comma 4 secondly we will choose x equals minus 1 2 into minus 1 is minus 2 8 minus 2 is 6 6 upon 3 is 2 so the second point is minus 1 comma 2. Next we take x equals minus 4. 2 into minus 4 minus 8. Minus 8 plus 8 0. 0 upon 3 0. So the third point is minus 4 comma 0. Now we draw the graph. First point is 3 comma 0 here. Second point 7 comma minus 2 is here. Third point minus 3 comma 3 is here. And a line passing through them is we write the name of this line x plus 2y equals 3 now we will draw the second line its first point is 2 comma 4 is here second point minus 1 comma 2 which is here and the third point minus 4 comma 0 this will be here and the line passing through them will be this one we will name this line 2x minus 3y plus 8 equals 0 these two lines intersect at this point minus 1 comma 2 and since it lies on both the lines the graphical solution of these two linear equations is minus 1 comma 2 word problems are generally solved from the question that is asked in the end of the problem which in this case is what are the speeds of the two cars we will assume speed of car a to be x kilometers per hour and that of car B, y kilometers per hour. Distance between the cars is 180 kilometers. Both cars A and B start at the same time. When they are traveling in the same direction, they meet each other after 9 hours. After 9 hours, car A will travel 9x kilometers because we have distance equals speed into time and car B will travel 9y kilometers and the difference between these two distances 9x minus 9y is the distance between the two cars 180 kilometers when they meet each other so the first equation that we got is 9 times x minus y equals 180 or x minus y equals 180 upon 9 20 so this is the first linear equation that we got 
when the cars are traveling towards each other with the same speed they meet in one hour so in case of opposite direction distance covered in one hour by car a will be 1 into x x kilometers and that by car b 1 into y that is y kilometers and for opposite direction sum of these distances x plus y will be the distance between the cars 180 we name this equation 2 we will add equation 1 and equation 2 y minus y will be 0 2x will be 200 and x 100 putting in equation 2 we get 100 plus y equals 180 y equals 80 so speed of car is 100 kilometers per hour and that of car b 80 kilometers per hour places a and b are 180 kilometers apart one car starts from a and another from place b at the same time if the cars travel in the same direction at different speeds let car a travels with a speed of x kilometers per hour and car b travels with a speed of y kilometers per hour in 9 hours car a will travel 9x kilometers because we have distance equals time into speed and car b travels 9y kilometers before they meet at this point say at point p so distance ap minus distance bp will be 180 kilometers that is 9x minus 9y equals 180 kilometers or in short x minus y equals 20 we name this equation 1 if they travel towards each other with same speed as before they meet in an hour so in one hour car a will travel x kilometers and car b y kilometers to meet at this point say point q so distance aq plus distance qb will be 180 kilometers that is x plus y equals 180 kilometers we name this 2 adding 1 and 2 y minus y 0 we get 2x equals 200 x equals 100 using x equals 100 in equation 2 100 plus y equals 180 so y equals 80 from this we get speeds of the two cars speed of car a 100 kilometers per hour and that of b 80 kilometers per hour p is external point we have to prove that lengths of tangents drawn from external point to a circle are equal p is external point ap and bp are tangents drawn to the circle with center o we have to prove that lengths of tangents ap and bp are equal after joining center o with points of contact a and b we get two right triangles triangle oap and triangle obp in which oa equals ob radii of same circle hypotenuse op equals hypotenuse op common side so triangle oap becomes congruent triangle obp by rhs criteria or rhs test so we can write tangent segment ap equals tangent segment bp which is what we have to prove hence proved using this result we have to find length bc of triangle abc given that a circle inscribed in triangle abc touching the sides ab bc and ca at r p and q respectively and ab is 10 cm aq is 7 cm and cq 5 cm here a is external point and aq and ar are tangents to the circle so if aq is 7 cm ar will also be 7 cm and rb 10 minus 7 3 cm here b is external point and br and bp are tangent segments so bp will also be 3 cm c is external point so cq and cp are tangent segments since cq is 5 cm cp will also be 5 cm 
and we have to find length BC that will be PP plus PC 3 plus 5 8 centimeter. A boy whose eye level is 1.35 meter from the ground spots a balloon moving with the wind in horizontal line at some height from the ground. Let this height be H. A is initial position of balloon and B its final position when it moves horizontally from A to B. The angle of elevation of the balloon from the eye of the boy that is from point E here at an instant is 60 degrees. So this angle is 60 degrees angle of elevation after 12 seconds this 12 the angle of elevation reduces to 30 degrees from 60 the angle of elevation reduces to 30 degrees if speed of wind is 3 meters per second this 3 then find the height of the balloon from the ground that means we have to find h plus 1.35 meters so for that we have to find h in right triangle ACE tan 60 is AC upon CE that is H upon X which is root 3 equals H upon X giving X equals H upon root 3. We name this 1. Next in right triangle BDE tan 30 degrees is BD upon ED H upon X plus 36. Note that AB is the distance traveled by the balloon from A to B in 12 seconds at a speed of 3 meters per second because we have distance equals speed which is 3 meters per second in this case multiplied by time which is 12 seconds in this case. So 3 into 12 36 meters 1 upon root 3 equals h upon x plus 36. x plus 36 is root 3h x equals root 3h minus 36. We name this 2. Now from 1 and 2 h upon root 3 is root 3h minus 36. After cross multiplication h equals 3h minus 36 root 3. 2h is 36 root 3 or h equals 36 root 3 upon 2 18 root 3. After putting this root 3 equals 1.73 we get h equals 18 into 1.73 31.14 meter so height of the balloon from ground which is this h plus 1.35 will become this 31.14 meter plus 1.35 which will be 32.49 meter the answer we have to find mean and median of the following data. Classes and frequency have been given. From classes we write the midpoint or class mark of each class. Xi for the first class it is the mean of lower limit and higher limit 87.4 etc. We will solve this problem by assumed mean method and we assume the mean to be middle value of xi 102.5 in di we will take deviation of each of the values of xi from the assumed mean 102.5 xi minus 102.5 to reduce the deviations further we will find ui which is the i upon 5 where 5 is class width of each class here so we get the ui values as minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2 which are very small and can help us in calculations. Next we have to find fi ui which is the product of frequency and ui values and for finding median we need cumulative frequency cf which we have shown in the same table for class 85 to 90 fi is 15 so cf will be 15 for next cf we have to add this 15 to this 22 to get this 37 we will continue in this manner to get the values of cf now first we will find mean x bar which is the assumed mean 102.5 plus 
summation fi ui minus 39 upon summation fi 120 multiplied by class width phi u which is 102.5 plus phi u 1s are phi u 2s are phi u 4s are minus 1.625 that gives mean x bar to be 100.875 next we will find median for that we need n upon 2 which is summation fi 120 upon 2 60 the cf value greater than 60 is 75 here corresponding to which is the median class 100 to 105 so this is the median class now median is lower limit of the median class l plus n by 2 minus cf of the previous class of the median class upon frequency f of the median class multiplied by class width h putting the values 100 plus n by 2 is 60 minus cf value 57 upon frequency of the median class 18 multiplied by class width h 5 which equals 100 plus 60 minus 57 3 3 6 are phi upon 7 is 0 0.83 so the median is 100.83 since 100.83 lies in the median class here the value is correct so this is answer 1 mean and this is answer 2 median monthly expenditure on milk in 200 families of a housing society is given below so the class is monthly expenditure here and the frequency is number of families here the class mark xi is the mean of lower limit and higher limit of each class summation fi works out to be 172 plus x that we write here summation fi xi equals n which in this case is given to be 200 because there are 200 families we have to consider so we write 172 plus x equals 200 that gives us x equals 28 here we have to find the value of x which we have already found out to be 28 and we also have to find out the mean expenditure that is x bar we will solve this problem by assumed mean method in order to simplify the calculations we assume the mean to be the middle value of x i 2750 and complete the column of deviation di Next, we will find ui, which is deviation upon the class width, which is 500 in this case. You can see the ui values are very small, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. And this simplifies the product fi ui. Summation fi ui works out to be minus 35. Now we calculate the mean x bar, which is the assumed mean. 2750 plus summation fi ui minus 35 upon n 200 multiplied by class width 500 that gives 2750 minus 87.5 and the mean value or the mean expenditure x bar is rupees 1662.50 paise the answer friends if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe this channel. See you in the next video. Until then, keep watching Number Collage. Thank you. Friends, if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe this channel. See you in the next video. Until then, keep watching Number Collage. Thank you.